title, Once Upon a Time in the West. Yeah. Can you describe when did you come up with the name? When? The title, yeah. Uh, I can't, it's, it's a title that's been knocking around for a while, actually. It used to come on to um, the Harmonica Man, the, the track from the film Once Upon a Time yeah. in the West by Ennio Morricone. And we've always been massive fans of Ennio Morricone as well, and, and Sergio Leone. So it just seems, seems, seems the right thing to do. I mean, I think, I think uh, as well, uh, obviously, the, the, it, work, it works on, we already had the name from that point of view, we already came on to our, to our live shows from the Ennio Morricone music. Uh, we liked the sort of, the big sort of epic scale of the Sergio Leone movies, you know what I mean, which was, I think our second album's a little bit more, it's a bit more expansive, like I said, in that kind of sense. And um, so we already sort of had the title and then we're from, you know, we're from West, West London, that's where, that's where we're from, so, and we write songs about what's happening around us and stuff. And, uh, you know, so yeah, it's like, you know, the, the album kind of, every, every song's like a little story, you know, every song's like a little story in that sense. And that's the same with uh, like Sergio Leone films, you know, there's all these little stories <laughs> intertwined into one big thing. So it just worked on a few different levels. So, you know, we like, we like the title. Yeah. So yeah. why not? Yeah. What do you, what's the best scene in Once Upon a Time in the West? Oh man, there's always a really cool uh, scene in it where, in every Sergio Leone film, there's always the, the shootout where they're stood there like that waiting. On the eyes. Yeah, the one at the beginning, the very, the very beginning, the way it opens with, uh, is it Charles Brunson? It's Charles Brunson, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's Charles Brunson. And, with the, the fly and, and the three guys and the fly around his face. Yeah. And he's just looking like that. <laughs> That's cool, that bit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the, um, well, the biggest step forward on, uh, on this new album? Which songs couldn't you, you couldn't have made two years ago? I think the song on uh, Maybe I Shall Overcome, uh, songs like that, it's just... Why? I, I think because we've we always been ambitious. We were never scared to do anything on our first album. We'd try everything out, you know? But we just didn't have, we didn't have the resources to, to make some kind of album, tracks on our first album. We just couldn't do it. The second album, we, we, could, we could get strings, we could do this, we could do that, you know what I mean? We were allowed to, to let the music breathe and do what we wanted, you know? And, um, so, so, we, so we did that this time, you know, and I think maybe, maybe a, a track like I Shall Overcome is a, is a, is a step up in, in that sense, in the sort of creativity and uh, uh, just its songwriting and in the production, the way that we made it, the way that we recorded it, you know, in, 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 a, in a lot of different ways. Uh, that's, that's what that track did. And so I think, I think that runs through the whole album as well. I think the whole album's like a step up in songwriting and everything else. You don't want to be stagnant, you don't want to stay where you are. I'm proud of our first album, I think it's fantastic, but you know, we, it sounds the way it does because we didn't have any other way to make it. You know, we all, you know and I think this album, you know, yeah. I, you know it's, it stepped up a little bit. Okay. Mm. On the first album, uh, one lyric was, um, uh, you like to uh, compete with Eminem? <laughs> how, how big is the ambition? Is that still the ambition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to sell as many records as possible, man. We want to go all around the world and sell as many records as we can. And we said that at the time. He's not, he's not selling that many records at the minute, is he? Eminem, he's not making so, one, yeah, is he? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we said that at the time because he was the biggest thing. He was, he was the sort of world superstar. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think the point was is that we didn't actually. Uh, but in, in England, you pretty much achieved it. In England, in England, we did really well. Yeah, around the world, we still got a bit of work to do, but you know, that's, that's, that's cool. I mean, Eminem was like the biggest thing at the time. That's why we said that. We could have said The Killers or we could have said Razor Light or something like this, but yeah. we'd rather set our sights on whatever's actually number one rather than whatever's just doing, doing, doing really well, you know? So Eminem was number one now. Now it's probably Kanye West or something yeah. instead, you know? We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll take him out now yeah. instead. Change the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, change, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay.